Oh, excuse oh, me. Oh. Thank you. Oh, hi, Mrs. Hi. Harris. I didn't see you come in. I haven't seen you in a week or so. Have you been out of town or something? Oh, no. Our VCR was just in for repairs again. It was awful. Can you imagine trying to make conversation with Mr. Harris? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it's back now. Good. You know, we have a lot of different movies you might not have seen before. Can I help you find anything in particular? Oh, thanks. I'll just look around. I'm sure I'll find something. Let's wake up. Oh, uh, who are you? The name's Buster. Buster Sales. Uh, our trailer tape must have jammed. I am no tape. See? Oh, the money. Hey! And on video cassette. Well, what are you doing here? I am a professional opportunist. That doesn't sound very nice. No, no, not that kind of opportunist. You see... I'm one of the world's greatest authorities on opportunities. I find people who need help, and I help them. And clearly, you need some help, especially with finding opportunities. I know an opportunity when I see it. Sure. Like the time Mrs. Harris's son, Brian, asked you out, and you turned him down to go to Jane Allworth's stupid slumber party. Shh, not so loud. God, his mother is right over there. And anyway, how was I supposed to know he was that hunk friend of Tyler's with the beautiful eyes? And the tickets to the Bon Jovi concert. I don't want to discuss that. Don't worry. She can't hear us. And it's a good thing. Last week, you had an opportunity to rent Mrs. Harris a blockbuster VCP. Oh, while hers was being fixed? Yeah, but she doesn't need one now. She needed one last week. So? You had an opportunity to tell her about your rental units two weeks ago. Then she'd have known she could rent a VCP from Blockbuster when she needed one. Yeah, well, I could go tell her now. Good idea. Oh, and ask her how Brian's doing while you're at it. You might still have a chance with him. We'll talk more about opportunities later. Oh, Mrs. Harris, I wanted to remind you that we have video cassette players for rent. So if you ever have to put yours in for repair again, you can just stop in here and pick one up. Well, good. I'm glad to know that. I'll do that next time. Well, as usual, you're out of the new releases I wanted. Oh, I'm sorry. What movie did you want? Well, actually, I wanted to see Sean Connery in The Hunt for Red October, but you're out. Well, I'm sure we have some copies coming in later today. And we probably have some other Sean Connery movies. By the way, how's Brian? Oh, he's fine. Actually, I thought he might be meeting me here. He has some friends coming over tomorrow night, and I guess he's counting on Mom's delivery service to pick out the music videos. Will you help me here? What do you think I should pick out? Hmm. Um, no, I don't think this one. No? Yeah, I think I'd go with those two, plus, plus this one. Well, tell Brian I said hi. Okay. And I'll see you when you bring those back. And you think you can spot an opportunity? <laughs> now what? I told her about the VCP rentals. And I helped her pick out the tape. And that's fine. But didn't you miss something? What? Like a chance to meet Brian? No, 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 no. Look at it this way. You have Sean Connery. You add Mrs. Harris's interest. And what do you get? You get more rentals and a happy customer. I told her we had other Connery movies. But can you name one? Could you have placed the Connery tape in Mrs. Harris's hand? I guess so, but sometimes I forget the titles. Look at it this way. There's three basic steps. Remember to listen to your customers, because they're giving you clues about their needs. Second, think how Blockbuster can solve those needs. And third, act with good customer service. <gasps> Get the picture? Look at this list of 50 best videos and commit them to memory. Get to know popular actors in all their movies. Oh, that's a great idea. I'll go tell Brian's mom. I mean, Miss Harris. Don't be pushy. Just be helpful.
Okay, have this back Saturday night before midnight. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Oh, hi, Kristen. How's it going? Pretty bogus, actually. I'm babysitting again this weekend. Babysitting's such a drag. I know how you feel. So you ready to check out? Sure. <clears throat> what now? You want to keep an eye on this. I see an opportunity coming. Hey, are you okay? You look a little freaked out. Huh? Oh, yeah, I was just checking the monitor. That's all. Now, um, let's see. Oh, oh, I see. See what? What? Like, am I on hidden videos or something? No, no. Hey, um, Kristen, haven't you checked this video out several times before? Yeah, at least five times. I mean, I could have bought it by now, you know? <laughs> Why don't you buy it? You know, all our tapes are for sale. No kidding? That's great, I'll take it. Oh, and you know what else? My little brother Spike has a birthday coming up. He's a regular Star Trek maniac. He wears Spock ears to school and everything. But if I only knew which show he wanted, I could buy it for him now. Hey, hey, why don't you rent a tape now and then see if he mentions one of his favorite episodes to you? Oh, geez, that's a great idea. <laughs> now I don't have to give him a Vulcan mind nut or something. <laughs> hey, where are your Star Trek videos? Oh, but I can tell you where. Thanks. And I'll just hold these for you. See you, Kristen. So, how was that? Not bad. One out of two, not bad. What do you mean, one out of two? Well, you rented and sold Kristen all the tapes she wanted. And that was great. But what about Spike? Oh, that. Oh, don't worry. She'll be back. She just wanted to figure out which tape you wanted. She doesn't have to. We have a great solution for customers that aren't sure about the perfect gift. Oh, you're right. I always forget about the gift certificates until after they've left. I should practice that listen, think, act. Right? It's as easy as one, two, three. Excuse me, is there something I can help you find? Oh, I doubt it. I'm a 60s movie buff, and I've been to eight video stores in the last three days looking for the last movie, I don't know the name, that had both Peter Sellers and, and Woody Allen in it. Nobody has it. Uh, that would be Casino Royale. It's a spoof on James Bond films. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, now that I know the title, all I have to do is find it. Oh, I don't know. That's a pretty rare title. Let's take a look. Oh, great. Buster, what's up? Blockbuster carries thousands of titles, but they're not all in every store. You could make this a lot easier on yourself, plus show your customers how to find almost any movie they're looking for. Got it? Got it. You got it? Where? No, I mean, I've got a great idea. Have you ever seen our gigantic catalog called Video Log? It's got every movie title that's on video. You mean there are more titles than what you have here? That's right. Come on, I'll show you. Oh, here it is. Casino Royale. You know, if you ordered this today, it would probably be in by the end of the week. And I could call you and you would be the proud owner of the last movie with Sellers and Allen. Fantastic. Uh, that's just what I need for my collection. Oh, what movies do you collect? The comedies. And I'm just starting a Peter Sellers series. I really don't know much about his films. Oh, he's one of my favorites, especially in The Pink Panther. Oh, yeah. Hey, um, why not consider renting Return of the Pink Panther? Oh, I haven't seen that in years. Great idea. Okay, I'll go get you a copy. <laughs> okay.
trying to get your attention. Well, if you don't mind, I'd rather you stick with the whistle. What is it this time? I found the man his movie. Yes, and you're still batting 500. How so? You remember? Listen, think, act? Right. Peter Sellers' comedy movies for rent. Good. Now think again. PVT tapes. That's right. Pink Panther movies are for sale. There you go. So maybe you could show him the PVT tapes? Right. Okay, here's your tapes and your popcorn and your raisinets. You'll be a real hit with Brian and all his friends. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, have these back Saturday by midnight. Okay, thanks. Oh, and if you see Brian, tell him Mom's delivery service has him covered. Okay. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, what's the big idea? Oh, you again. Look, I haven't missed an opportunity in at least 15 minutes. No, you've been doing great. But there's a real challenge coming your way. This isn't going to be your ordinary opportunity. Well, I'll be fine. It's just a matter of listening, thinking, and acting on it. There's nothing to it. Good. And remember, Anything a customer says or does can be a clue. And sometimes you have to listen very carefully to hear an opportunity. Thanks, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. Eh, we'll see. Here comes Marge Simpson. You know, the one that keeps trying to introduce you to her son, Doug. Doug's a nerd. Yeah, maybe so. But Mrs. Simpson is an opportunity. If you can find it. Hello, Mrs. Simpson. Hi, Marie. Uh, Marie, have you ever met my son, Douglas? Hi, Doug. Hello, Marie. <laughs> so, looks like you have everything you wanted? Yes, but sometimes I just can't make up my mind. You have such a large selection. I know. We have over 6,000 titles in our store. Problem is, my husband, Richard, he just goes bananas if I spend more than $10 on movies. Of course, he spends that on fishing lures and never thinks twice about it. And I really wanted two more tapes. $10 limit. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just come in the store more often? You get two or three more tapes each week. That way you'd stay below your husband's $10 limit and you'd get to see more movies each month. Well, you are so helpful and clever. Doug, isn't she sweet? She's... she's sunshine on a cloudy day. Oh. Right. Is there anything else I can get you? Uh, we have a special on microwave popcorn. No, I don't think so. Besides, honestly, I don't think that old clunker of a VCR is going to make it through all these tapes. The picture just isn't clear anymore. Don't even think about it. Well, I don't think about it, Marie, but it really is getting bad. Have you cleaned your VCR heads recently? No. Come to think of it, I don't think we ever have. Well, they say you should every 20 hours or so. This is what we use on ours here in the store. Oh? I think it does a really good job. Well, maybe I'll give it a try. Okay, that'll be... 1584. Right, 1584. Here it is, 15, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, come on up, Doug. Goodbye, Marie. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Oh, he has a way with words, doesn't he? Bye. Bye. Don't forget, Saturday before midnight. So, how was I? You were terrific. Now, are you ready to go out on your own? Honestly, I'm not sure. I mean, I almost missed out on that opportunity with Mrs. Simpson. But you didn't. So tell me, what have you learned? Well, to listen to the customers very carefully and to think because anything they do or say may be signs of their needs and to act on the opportunities once you see or hear them.
and then to give the customers the kind of service they expect. That's about it, isn't it? Mm. Well, that takes care of that. I guess now I'm the opportunity expert. Okay, 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 already. I should have told him about the VCP rentals and cables. Joan? Oh, Marie. Have we found a little friend to talk to? Oh, friend? Oh, no, I was... I was... Right, right? <laughs> Hi, Marie. Oh, Brian. Brian Harris. I, you just missed your mom, but I helped her pick out some great videos. I hear you're having a little get-together over at your house. Yeah. Hey, just remember. Listen, think, and act. And, uh... Tell Buster I said hi. So, let me show you this place.